Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Shibumi. And today we are going to continue with the rudder build and hopefully get the tube installed in it. So just bear with me now, can I change the viewpoint of this? So this is today's fun. So this is the tube I would have showed in the last video. <coughs> If you can see down here, we have some lines drawn that are absolutely vertical. Uh, we use spirit level to determine them. And they are the correct distance in from the transom and also from the first frame. So we have to cut away that centre rib uh, on those lines and then transpose the circle of that 5 inch tube onto the floor and then somehow hack through it with grinding and whatnot and try and cut it out as best we can. Then position it, make sure it's right, test fit the rudder on some tack welds and then hopefully weld it up and then we'll be adding stiffeners from the centre line there out to the frame and the same on this side and making sure that it's absolutely rock solid. Uh, the change of this flat piece of metal here, which is a stiffener for the rib. Uh, it's been done on all of them. We're in the aft cabin, by the way. And excuse the mess, we had swallows tried to build a nest in here last week, so they had to be evicted. And there's dust from the previous blasting, but essentially it's all painted in here. And uh, so uh, these beams here, we might have to take a section out of that because there was a different way of building it at the time of putting that beam on the flat on the top. We opted to put it on the inside, it would look better, faster to put it in, but it might mean we have to take a chunk out of it, we might have a small bit of interference. So, uh, we'll see how we get on today. Don't know if you can see me, my head, I'll try and get down here. Yeah, you still can't see me, but it doesn't matter. And here it is, a uh, four inch grinder. Did all of that, I boxed it off and see the time lapse and just kept cutting away the chunks. Here we have plenty of space for alignment, setting the height. Uh, I don't think I'm about to touch it more, there might be a little bit of grinding just to make it a little bit more space. Essentially, there it is. So, let's try to do that. It's only barely tacked in there, but it's 100% level. It's all fitted, and I've taken in this bit of aluminium. Just to show that we're under the floor line, because the floor line is, that's the top of the steels there. So, I made reference yesterday to someone being mentioned in the video. And as it happens, the stem of the rudder, because it's under the two back windows of the cabin, remember I'm much lower than the floor, I should be standing on these things, um, will end up being under technically the dressing table that will be in this cabin, which means should there be a steering failure, it's just a, um, we'll have to uh, take everything out of that press, baby and uh, connecting a tiller, an emergency tiller, into that square that's on top and uh, that's how we steer the boat should the steering have a failure. So uh, I'm really happy with the 
obviously the cost I thought it would be way harder it came out okay and uh, left plenty wiggle room there to get it level which I'll fill up with uh, weld and then I'm going to put reinforcing pieces and from here back to here and then fill all this up and finish out these welds. These welds were actually left undone knowing that this had to be done so they were intact. The rest of the fin all the way up the centre line of the boat is completely welded. So excuse me now I'm trying to climb over things. So I'll just give you a look outside now. This is Shibumi's rudder. So it's impossible to move around here. So there it is. It moves completely freely. It's rock solid. And uh, I'll weld all up in there when it's less windy. It's blowing a gale here currently. So you can see our little measurement there. 38 millimeters on one side and on the inside the line which is the important one this is the one we kept uh, that line there is 24 millimeters and that gave us our exact height upstairs to get it under the floor so that's a locking collar to stop it jumping up further So another good day, excuse the state of me, we now have our rudder tube in, boat is levelled, totally 100% positive, the rudder is perfect, we've tested it, 
you can see it. Um, the new webs are in, all welded in, and there is absolutely no issue of this rudder tube ever going anywhere. Other than doing the job, we would do. So, until the next time, thank you.